With our UI templates, we deliver ready-to-use UI solutions for real-life applications. In this video, I'll show you how to customize our Edit Box template. First, I'll configure its integrated features. Then, I'll show you how to display a custom UI visual in the Edit Box. So, let's get started. First, set the header label and footer label properties to display the corresponding labels in the edit box template. Then set the placeholder property, which specifies the null text. The edit box template can also display a leading icon. I invoke the DevExpress image gallery, which is packed with thousands of high quality SVG and PNG icons and choose an icon that I'm all set. Let's check out the result. You can do a lot more than what's available out of the box. All templates can be extended as you need. Let's add a new text length indicator property. I've already prepared the code that implements the property. Now I need to register an expression for the text length indicator property, which I'll use in the HTML template. You can find the full source code for this tutorial in our documentation. The link is in the description. Now we just need to show a character indicator for our text length indicator property right in the edit box. Let's display it to the right of the input string. To do this, I need to edit the HTML template. Open the HTML template editor, which we integrated into Visual Studio IDE. I'm adding a span tag, bind it to the text length indicator expression, which we've already defined in code behind. I create a CSS style and apply it to the indicator. And I'm done. I save the changes made and close the editor. Finally, I need to set the max length property to limit the number of characters the user can type in the edit box. And let's see the result. It works. That's it for this video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.